Out at turn number four, 25 laps. Who's going to be on the Eldora stage tonight? In the odd feature. Here we go, Shane Andrews. And the Mets scramble for supremacy into turn number one and two. Bob McCool down uh, on the top side. Jeep Van Wormer on the bottom, and he's going to lead them down the back straightaway for the first time. And not a good start for Terry Phillips. Meanwhile, McCool for the lead off a of turn four. They'll side job around each other. Van Wormer in front. And McCool second, McCready third. Not a good start for Phillips, and that hurt Matt Miller. Yes, it did, as Miller is sitting back there in position number six. Daryl Lanigan rides in the seventh spot as they work their way down the back stretch. Jason Fager is up to position number seven, as your leader is going to be Jeep Van Wormer. Look at RJ Conley. RJ Conley up to third now. The Conley trucking 71C down the back straight away. McCready runs in fourth, and they're trying to go three wide back there, landing in Miller and Phillips. But right now, it is all Spider-Man. Well, we had Batman a while ago. Now we got Spider-Man. As Daryl Lanigan feeling the pressure from the Phillips 75 on the bus. Oh, oh baby, he almost clipped the inside jersey barrier, trying to get around Lanigan and Miller right there to challenge from position number six. All right, now Terry Phillips has thrown the anchor from the outside of the front row. Just inside the top ten right now. Four laps in the books. Van Warmer leads McCool. Conley, McCready is fourth. Battle for fifth, side beside Miller. Lanigan, then it's Saturday, Phillips and Fager. But Terry Phillips, wrong tire choice or something because he's going backwards. As they bring it off the turn, Van Warmer leads the way. He has McCool in second. Conley's running in third, but for how long is Tim McCready in the 39s going after him? T-Mac on the top shelf looking to grab position number three. Jeep Van Warmer, the Rocket Jesse Bayline Fire Protection 55. The defending track champion here at Eldora Speedway down in a turn number one. Running in second is Bud McCool. Tim McCready third, RJ Conley fourth. Who uh, started in front of Miller has really cost Matt Miller because he has lost his momentum trying to regain it. But he's only got 16 to go to get to the front. Boy, Jeep Van Wormer must have heard us talking about how we thought Matt Miller was going to win this event. He must have us twisted in on his radio dial because he is starting to run away from Bob McCool right now as he brings it off a of corner number two. Ten laps in of this 25 lap odd feature event. That's what makes it fun in dirt lay model racing. I mean, you got a guy like Van Wormer. He's only run a handful of races this year. I don't even know if he's run a dozen races. He got a World of Outlaw win a couple of weeks ago in his home state of Michigan. And you know, he can beat the best of the best. He has done it before. Don't look now, but McCool has closed the gap. Van Warmer's going to have to throw a slider on Ralph, and he's going to slide up the truck, and McCool has the momentum. He Here comes Mohawk Nation. And he is closing in. He's within three car lengths into turn number one. And this is also allowing McCready and Lanigan to close the gap from position number three and four as Conley rides back in the five spot. The three of Miller holding on to position number six. Down the main straightaway. He sliced that down from eight to four car lengths. Down the straightaway. And right now he's got two cars in front of him. Side by side. Bowers knocking up. This is going to get interesting, Shane Andrews. It sure is, James Essex. If they bring it off a of corner number two, he'll get around the herb number 28. And McCool looking to do the same. We're going to have five to go. And oh, Oh boy, that was close with the 95 of Bowersock. And McCool right there on the back bumper into one. McCool's right there, right between Herb as Van Wormer hanging on. It's going to be hard to get down to the bottom. Let's see what McCool's going to do. Here comes McCready. Here comes Lanigan. Van Wormer trying to hang on now. Down there to turn number four, down the front straightaway. They have four to go. Who's going to dare get out of that line and go to the bottom? Shane Andrews down the back straightaway, the top four all together. All the cars running in second, third, and fourth have the advantage over your race leader because they can go in the opposite direction of what he chooses. Jeep has to be careful in traffic. He's closed right in on the number 95 of Bowersock, taking a little conservative, and here comes Lanigan, Lanigan for third. Lanigan's run at bottom. Can he make it stick? No, down the back straightaway. Here comes Conley. Here comes Miller. Hit it turn number three. Van Warmer hanging on. He's doing a good job so far. He's just got to hold that line. Two to go. The white flag's going to come out for Jeep Van Warmer. Out of turn two. McCool second. McCready third. Landigan fourth. Miller fifth. Conley sixth. Seventh Saturday. Eighth Fager. Ninth is Riom. Tenth is Carrier. Eleventh Phillips. Off of turn four. One to go for Jeep Van Warmer, Shane. He has driven a sensational race, a steady race, and a smart race through turns number one and two. He's not putting any pressure on the slower cars in front of him. McCool's within five car lengths as they head into turn number three. Miller takes a shot on the bottom of Landigan, but out of turn four, Spider-Man's going to do it. He started third. He took the lead on lap one. He wins. McCool second. McCready third. Fourth Landigan. 
Who's going to win the even feature tonight at Eldora, Shane? Here oh, look at them go three wide into turn number one as the number six of Dustin Neat's going to lead the charge off the corner. Wow. On the bottom, Ken Robinson moves it up. Wow. To position number two. I was worried there that that thing might be rubbered up top. Robinson slides. You can still run down the bottom of the middle, and then Neat's going to lead. Hello there, Dustin E, your leader, Robinson, Clanton on the bottom. Where did Shane Clanton come from? He started on the inside of row four. He's up to third. Shepard is fourth. Fifth is Mars. Burkhoff. Oh, Robinson, some, oh my, look out. Oh, wow, nice save into turn wow, number it was. three. It looked like something broke on the seven car, but he's still running. That car just didn't turn. No, it did not. Brandon Shepard did a nice job of making sure that no damage was done on his ride. Well, that's what happens when you're 20 years old. You got good reflexes and good eyesight back in the day. I don't know if I can handle that or not. As Robinson <laughs> runs third, fourth, and we got a caution out. And Rick Foley says, let's get back at it as we start lap number eight, Shane. Oh, look at that. Shane Clanton able to take the spot away into turn number one and two, putting Neat back to second. Berkey right there is going to try and follow suit. But he can't. Tyler Reddick is on uh -oh. the move. He's up to fourth. From sixth, eighth to fourth, here comes the California kid surfing on the bottom. Out of turn number four, Reddick may have something. Here comes Reddick. Into turn number one, he's going to go after Berkey for the third spot. Can't quite make it work. Look at how much lower he is than everybody else. He is literally driving inches away from the jersey barrier in the corner. A week ago, he did not even have a motor. He wasn't even coming. Out of turn four, he may win a preliminary here tonight. Into turn number one, his feature. 25 laps, 5,000 to win out of turn number two. Clanton with the lead, need his second. Burkhoff for third, fourth is ready. Fifth is Madden, sixth is Robinson, seventh Shepard. Eighth McDowell, ninth Blankenship, tenth is Moyer. Eleventh is O'Neill, Bab up to 12. Clanton looking good in the one of that Kennedy 25. Looking very good right now. A four car length advantage over the Dustin Neat number six. He bobbled a little bit in turn number two. Berkey tried to make a run at him, couldn't make it stick. Reddick still fourth. Madden runs in fifth now as they follow around out of turn number two. 14 down, 11 to go. Here's Matt took a shot on Reddick as they come out of turn number two. So that top group predominant again now here. We had some really good action here early on, but that top is prominent as Berkey's going to try to make the move. Will he throw the slider, Shane, into one? Let's see as he drifts up the hill. Yes, he does, as Neat had to get off the throttle and let him in, and it's going to cost him as Reddick's able to get by. Oh, boy, Burkhofer took away that momentum, and it cost the number six. Oh, oh look at that. Wow. They'll get together as Madden has got a big quarter panel damage on Dustin Neat. As Neat, as you mentioned, lost his momentum and he couldn't get it back going again. It's ready, and now Madden is around him. Brad Neat has got damage on the right side of that hatcher, Barry Wright. So our second caution, 18 in the book, seven to go. And oh, oh, it's going to be a double file restart. Out of there at the floor as they come to Buck. Oh, my. Oh, they're three wide. Look out. Reddick on the bottom. Clint gets the lead back. <laughs> Working it off of ah. number two. That was a strange start as the Burkhofer 15 is going to hold the spot. Here comes Madden going after Reddick, and Shane Clanton is the one they're all chasing. It looked like Burkhofer was going to get the advantage of the one Clanton went right back around him on the outside. Six to go. Now Burkhofer's got to pick up the momentum down the back straightaway. Reddick, third, fourth man, fifth is Shepard. Sixth, Blankenship. Seventh, McDowell. Eighth is O'Neill. Burkhofer, will he do the slider if he gets a shot? Well, Five gonna, to go. He's going to have to catch him first. And Berkey's well, going to have to get a little bit closer, Shane, if he's going to throw that last lap slide job. Here they come. They've only got three to go. Yes, they do. 22 in the books as Reddick still right there trying to challenge the Burkhofer, number 15, into turn number one. Meanwhile, Reddick trying to keep the 44 of Madden behind him. Shepard still there for position number five as we will have 23 down, two to go for Shane Clanton. As Shane looking good, that capital race car, Clement South of power under the hood into turn number one. We're going to take the white flag next time around, about three car lengths over Burkhofer. He looks like he's going to make it hold up. Reddick runs in third, Matt, four, Shepard fifth, sixth is Blankenship, but Shane Clanton as they come out of turn four, he started seventh in this race. How about it leading final lap, Shane Andrews? Into turn number one and two, Shane Clanton all by his lonesome. Four car lengths ahead of Brian Burkhofer. Tyler Reddick still there for third. Chris Madden is fourth. The second one of the night, this 25 lapper is going to go to Shane Clanton off of turn number four. He'll take the victory, Brian Burkhofer second. Tyler Reddick third.